was about 19, I chose to join the Army. I got ordered to go to Special Forces training to be a medic, so I spent the next better part of two years going through medical training. Max Sog V was created in 1965, and its, its mission was reconnaissance and to attack uh, the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Officially, we did not have a presence in Cambodia or Laos. We were prohibited from going in there. We had no U.S. troops in there, but that was not true. We had amongst the highest missing in action of any unit. We lost a tremendous amount of people. We started getting hit and we had a, for the next 96 hours, we had a running gun battle. We were in dire straits. I was hit on two different days. A hole in your foot or a hole in your arm, as long as you could function, was not considered a serious injury. We were outnumbered probably at least 10 to 1. We had an individual that was actually outside of our perimeter that was wounded. Sergeant Rose went out, did immediate aid on him, drug him back, and with one hand firing at the enemy. It never occurred to me to worry about the enemy. It's not my function. My function is the wounded. No matter what happens, you're going to do whatever you can to get them home. They had tried for three days to get us out. And we were, we were facing a quite a large number of people, and we were down to not much ammunition left. One helicopter came in, took all, all but 35 people out. By the time the third ship came in, it lost its engine. There were fuel lines broken and hydraulics broken. One of us said, you know, we're gonna crash. The next thing I know, I'm on the ground. And the helicopter was kind of smoking and on fire by then. And so I got back up inside the helicopter and started moving people out until we emptied the helicopter out on the ground. Statistically speaking, everybody that's analyzed this from one end to the other said that none of us should have made it out of there. I can remember looking at blue sky when I was blown up in the air. I got hit in the bladder canteen that I kept on my chest. Things like that, uh, how, how canteens get hit. I don't see how anybody couldn't believe in God if you were with us on that day. A medic is part of the morale support system within the unit. The bond you have with these men, it's, it's almost unbreakable. You, you have the sense that you are part of a greater, something greater than yourself. I am a Knight of Columbus because everybody there is improving the lives of vulnerable people in our society. You can't fix the country, you can't fix the state, you can't even fix your city, but you can do something about your neighborhood and the Knights of Columbus provide the means to do that. I am a Knight of Columbus because I am in a group of very good and generous and capable and energetic men who on a weekly basis constantly improve our little local community. For many years, the story of Mike's heroism has gone untold. Mike, we present you with the Congressional Medal of Honor. What I'm proud of is the fact that, that I was able to function and do my job within my unit. And I kept faith with the men I fought with. I didn't falter, I didn't fail them.